We need maths. The majority of the world thinks maths is a bunch of useless, abstract concepts, but in reality it's the only reason we're not cavemen today. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Maths summed up. Hmm, wow. The Hindu counting system is simply amazing. Mm, however, it only contains digits from 1 to 9. So, how could I write down the number 10? That's it! I'll just make a new digit. Zero. It shall be the embodiment of nothing, while all the other digits mean something. Sounds crazy, right? But this way, if I put the 1 and the 0 next to each other, it shall create 10. Not 11 or 9, because I want one lot of 10 and no lots of 1. Little did he know, by inventing zero, he would also invent the backbone for modern mathematics. By using zero, math now followed straightforward rules, made simple calculations ridiculously easy, and made infinite magnitude and precision possible. All fundamental concepts for algorithms, algebra, and calculus. Even the idea of whether something exists or not, depicted by one and zero, is the reason binary and thus modern computers exist. An arch bridge would be a way to approach this, but that would stop ships from passing through. Perhaps a new design can be made using suspensions. Splendid! This way, the gaps between the towers will be over 500 feet long, enough for even the big ship to pass through. Historically, most bridges were built using stone arches. However, this limited how long the bridges could be. If we wanted to increase the span of an arch, its width and height would also have to be increased proportionally. This means that doubling the length of a bridge increases the material eightfold. A suspension bridge uses the principles of tension and compression, allowing longer bridges to be built. The tension keeps the deck stable and allows traffic to pass through, while the weight of the bridge is supported by its towers, which in turn dissipate the compression forces from the cables directly into the ground. The integrate calculations of these forces only possible by the development of mass and physics, is the only reason we have our beautiful suspension bridges today. Moving on to NASA's latest developments, we see significant improvements, especially in the computing ability and algorithms. These algorithms are still not ideal, however, as they are non-linear, which means that the shuttle's computer takes a long time to calculate the rocket's location. This causes the rocket's expected location to become more inaccurate as the mission progresses, as the system is unable to keep up with the large amount of information that needs to be processed. Would that work? Yeah. This is going to get us to the moon. This formula is special. It presents the estimation of the rocket's position as a linear function, unlike other equations at the time. Not only does it allow the location to be calculated faster, it produces very accurate results due to it being self-correcting and having the ability to turn indirect measurements into direct measurements. Although the creation of this equation seems to be inconsequential to the life of the average person, it actually plays a vital role in modern technology which has greatly improved the quality of our lives. The Kalman filter has revolutionised transport, with inventions like autopilot and navigation systems making fast, reliable transport more accessible to society, helping foster connection between people and cultures in the modern global world. We also see the Kalman filter in our smartphones. GPSs have a large margin of error due to a time delay, weak signal or surrounding environment. The filter takes the uncertain observations and minimises errors to create a highly accurate prediction of location. But the main reason our current technology exists, such as the GPS, is due to the invention of modern computing. Our computers process and translate information via binary and store this as data. This system is entirely based on base 2 and binary, which only exists because of zero. Being able to manipulate stored data is how computers can play movies, synthesize sound, access the internet, and improve our quality of life in general. Additionally, data scientists have taken the role to analyze data and use their knowledge of maths to find trends and patterns, ultimately leading to new developments for humankind. Maths, through its integration in science, technology, engineering, and the world, has made everything possible. This has been Maths. Summed up.